Teenagers in foster care in Virginia face the uncertainty of aging out of the system without a permanent loving family to guide them to adulthood. But one mom who's adopted a total of eight children, many of them teens, says the bonds with older children are different, but just as steadfast as the ones with her four biological children. These kids have had a life before you, and that doesn't just go away when they come into your home. So there's some um, acknowledgement of their experiences and their own family that they've been raised in, and then understanding the harm that's come to them and how that impacts the way that they think and behave. And so just kind of wrapping all of that up and then trying to do what you can do to help them and meet their needs and give them the love and care that they deserve. Meet 16-year-old Ronnie. He knows what family means. Family means people that support you, not people that you were born with. People that are going to be there for you no matter what happens. Somebody that's going to care for you. Ronnie is outgoing and makes friends easily. I'm very big, I'm very social, I'm an extrovert. So I love being around my friends, I love being around people. And Ronnie already has career ambitions. What I want to do when I get older is uh, two things. I want to be, I want to get my trade in carpentry. But then I also want to become a businessman so I can run my own business. I'm just trying to learn everything I can at such a young age, so then I soak it all up. And he knows what skills he has. What I'm good at is probably video games. Uh, I'm very good at history, like social studies. Don't know why, just it, it's very interesting, so I'm really good at it. I'm decent at wrestling. I am decent with full catching with and throwing football. Ronnie knows just how we'd like to fit in with a forever family. I would just want to just kind of become like a son and actually get treated as if I was a son, not as somebody that was a burden or a problem that was for them. I want to get treated as an actual human being that has feelings and emotions. If you'd like to learn more about Ronnie or any of the other children we featured this month, just go to our website, WTVR.com.